When Elmer McFeed was very, very young, he was born. And his parents went on a long trip and didn't come back until he was an old man. So he lived with his aunt, who was mean, nasty, and ugly. She was worn and torn and old and bent and walked with a cane. And whenever it was time for supper, she would say, Elmer, bring me the beets. Because every night for supper, Elmer had broccoli and beet surprise. Chocolate covered liver bits. Cauliflower olive sauerkraut pie. And after a long time, he got tired of having beets. And so he snuck out to the corner grocery store. He bought a little box of gelatin. It was raspberry flavored. He brought it home. He stuck it in the cupboard. And that night when his aunt said, Elmer, read me the instructions for the beets. He pulled out the box of gelatin. He said, well, first you open up the gelatin, I mean the beets, and you pour it into a bowl. And so she did. And then you pour hot water on the gelatin, I mean the beets. And so she did. And then you put it in the refrigerator until after supper. And so she did. And when it was time for supper, Elmer sat down at the table and picked up his spoon, ready to eat till he had no more room. He looked in the bowl and he saw the gelatin moving back and forth like this. He dipped his spoon in, took just one bite. And as soon as he had, he jumped up on the table. He started doing like this. And his aunt said, Elmer, what are you doing? And Elmer said, whenever I eat gelatin, I do my gelatin dance. It's not a stance. It's not a prance. It's just my jolly gelatin dance. So stomp your feet and clap your hands and join the jolly gelatin dance. Then he sat down, just as quiet as a pillow in the middle of the night. Well, when his aunt saw how much fun he was having, she sat down at the table. And she picked up her spoon. Go ahead and pick up your spoons. Ready to eat till she had no more room. She looked in the bowl and she could see the gelatin moving back and forth like this. She took her spoon, she dipped it into the gelatin, took just one bite. And as soon as she had, she jumped up on the table. Go ahead. Jump up. She started doing like this. <laughs> Elmer said, what are you doing? She said, whenever I eat gelatin, I do my gelatin dance. It's not a stance. It's not a prance. It's just my jolly gelatin dance. So stomp your feet and clap your hands. Join the jolly gelatin dance. Then she sat down, just as quiet as a pillow in the middle of the night. All night long, Elmer is on, jumping up on the kitchen table. They're doing a gelatin dance. The next day, it was time to go to school. When Elmer got to school, he had a hard time thinking about math. He had a hard time thinking about science. He had a hard time thinking about recess. 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 All he could think about doing was the gelatin dance. And that day at lunch, in their hot lunch program at their school, you will never guess in a million trillion years what they had for dessert. <laughs> How'd you know that? <laughs> and so Elmer and his friends and all of the teachers sat down in the lunchroom. And they all picked up their spoons, ready to eat till they had no more room. And they looked in their bowls, and they saw the gelatin moving back and forth like this. And they took their spoons, they dipped them in the gelatin, took just one bite. Then Elmer, his friends, and all of the teachers jumped up on the tables. Ready? Bah! They start doing like this. And the principal came in, he said, what are you doing whenever we eat gelatin? We do a gelatin dance. Say it with me. It's not a stance. It's not a prance. It's just a jolly gelatin dance. So stomp your feet and clap your hands. Join the jolly gelatin dance. Then they all sat down, just as quiet as a pillow in the middle of a mouse. Oh, I mean a mouse in the middle of the night. A mouse in the middle of a pillow? A pillow in the middle of a marshmallow. No. A pillow in the middle of the night. 
Well, the principal saw how much fun everyone was having, and he himself did the gelatin dance. And then he got on the phone at the office, and he called up all the newspapers. They wanted to write a story. You'll never guess what they wanted to call it. <laughs> How'd you know that? <laughs> he called up all the TV people. They wanted to do his new special call. You'll never guess what they were going to call it. How'd you know that? He called up all the video game makers. They wanted to make a video game call. You'll never guess what they were going to call. Nope. Super Gelatin Dance 2 Revenge of the Raspberries. Well, pretty soon word had spread and people all over the world, everybody you can think of, was sitting down at their tables and picking up their spoons, ready to eat till they had what? No more room. And they all looked in their bowls and they could see the gelatin moving back and forth like this. They took their spoons, they dipped it in the gelatin, took just one bite. Um, then people all over the world ah, went to sleep. No, they didn't. Then what did they do? They jumped up and started doing like this. And people all over the world started saying, whenever we eat gelatin, we do our gelatin dance. It's not a stance, it's not a prance. It's just our jolly gelatin dance, so stop your feet and clap your hands. Join jolly gelatin dance. Then they all sat down, just as quiet as a pillow in the middle of my stomach. <laughs> Just as quiet as a pillow in the middle of the gelatin. Quiet as a pillow in the middle of the night? Well then, after everyone around the world had done the gelatin dance, something very unexpected happened. The world ran out of gelatin. All of the gelatin trees had been plucked. All of the gelatin fields had been harvested. And every last one of the gelatin fish had been caught. There was no more gelatin anywhere. And at first people were sad. <laughs> because they didn't think they could do it anymore. But then people realized that doing the gelatin dance, some people had had fun. Some people acted silly who didn't normally act silly. Even in a remote part of Australia, a few hugs were given. And that was far more than gelatin ever promised. So from then on, people didn't need to have gelatin. They could pretend. <laughs> Last time, ready? Pretend to pick up their spoons, ready to eat till they had no more room. And pretend to look in their bowls and see the gelatin jumping up and down. No, going back and forth like this. Pretend to take their spoons, dip it in the gelatin, take just one bite, and then they could stop pretending. And you can jump up, ready? And start doing like this, woohoo! And if anybody ever asks you what you're doing, you tell them, whenever we eat gelatin, we do our gelatin dance. It's not a stance, it's not a prank. It's just our jolly gelatin dance. So stomp your feet and clap your hands. Join jolly gelatin dance. And as far as I know, that's the end, or maybe just the beginning of the gelatin dance.